We're looking for a videographer to shoot our annual event. Must have own equipment, no editing required. Seriously? Hey guys, it's Ita Emma, and you're watching Full Field, where we focus on the latest video trends and techniques and frame the conversation just for you. Today, I wanted to talk to you about editing. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, while I do talk about all aspects of video production, I'm an editor first and foremost. So this episode is going to be a little bit biased, but then again, it's my show, so deal with it. Every now and then, I'll get a request or I'll see a post looking for video production, but the party says that they don't need any editing. Now, granted, there are those times where it's something internal, like a birthday party or some sort of event that you just want documented. That's fair. But if you're looking to do something for the public, yes, it needs to be edited. The thing is, I don't think some people, and I don't mean you guys, you guys know what's up, but some people don't really have any concept of what editing really means. There's a quote that I love. In fact, I paraphrase it on the front page of the View From Above website. It's a quote from Walter Murch. He's the editor who worked on Apocalypse Now. He says, Today, editing is something that almost everyone can do on a simple level and enjoy it. But to take it to a higher level requires the same dedication and persistence that any other art form does. When you think about filmmaking, editing is really the only craft that's exclusive to the filmmaking process. An actor or a director can work on a stage play, a writer can write a novel, but an editor? All we do is filmmaking. On a simple level, editing is just stitching video clips together, I'll grant you that. But the real work of an editor oftentimes goes unseen. That's part of our job, to assemble a piece so that you as the viewer are immersed in the story and not distracted by anything else. The reality is, just stitching footage together usually only happens in the most perfect, ideal situations. Footage almost never comes directly out of the camera perfect. The shot might be overlit or underlit. The lighting might make the subject look washed out. A lack of contrast might make the subject blend into the background. A sidewall might be reflecting on the subject, giving them this funky green color. These are all aspects of what we call color correction. What if the speaker speaks too softly or too loudly? What if there's noise? And I don't mean like a phone ringing, but noise like a hiss in the audio track. These are aspects of sound sweetening. And what are the odds the speaker is going to be able to go from beginning to end without making any mistakes? There's a lot of different aspects of editing, and I'm sure I'll be covering them as we go along. The thing is, with editors, if we do our jobs right, you'll never know we were there. So the next time you meet a video or a film editor, shake his hand, or give her a hug, because we help put the magic into movie magic. Well, that's it for now. If you have any questions about editing, please leave a comment below. I love to hear them. If you haven't already, be sure to click the subscribe button so you can get the latest video trends and techniques framed and in focus. I'm Ita Emma, you've been watching Full Field, and we'll see you next time.